Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a very simple, easy to follow mini album base with you. So this is a tutorial that has been requested many times on my channel. There were several wonderful ladies that do comment on my channel asking if I'm going to do a tutorial. So here I am. I have got many papers in front of me in different sizes and I am going to walk you through. This first piece here you need is 12 inches long by six and a half inches tall. So this would be your pattern paper that you want on the cover of your mini album, the simple mini album that we will be making. So you need to choose wisely which pattern paper you want for your cover because once you start to cut it, you don't want it to be a waste. I mean, I'm sure you can use it for die cutting and things like this, but I always like to choose what I want to use first before I cut away. So I gather all my pattern papers and then I choose which ones I would like to use for the pages, for the cover, uh, what pattern paper I would like to use to add on to the cover and things like that. So this is going to be my base for the mini album cover. And I have chosen this blue paper here to layer on top. So I'm going to be layering like this. So I can see a bit of this pattern paper and this. Then I want to add on some more pieces on top like this for my front cover. But this is the starting point for my front cover and Decorating is not going to be part of this tutorial because I really want to show you guys how simple it is to create your mini album. This mini album can be really excellent item to use for adding your embellishment clusters and little tiny things that you want to add onto it or even a tag piece. Um, you can like even add pockets to the pages if you want, but I am going to simply show you the basic of this. Okay, so this is the outside cover of the album and I have now also cut out these pieces. So you are going to need two of any packaging cardboard material. If you want to use chipboard, you can, but honestly, personally, I don't buy chipboard pieces because I like to save money where I can. And this is just simply cardboard pieces that I save off the 6x8 paper pads or back of the 12x12 12 12 paper pad. I even use the front cover of the paper pad. I save all of my sticker sheets and ephemera pack pieces of cardboard because I can use them for many projects. So this one measures four by five, okay? And you need two of those. For the middle, for the spine, it is two and quarter inch wide, five inches tall. So the album is going to be five inches tall. So now what we're going to do is add glue. You can decide what you want to use for your sticky part. You can use double-sided tape, but for me, I use glue and double-sided tape. Now you really want to add, have a bit of a gap on the side and a bit of a gap at the top. And that's what I've done. And that's how I measured out the six and a half inches wide for this paper here. So you're going to add it like this. Then for the spine part, you really don't want to add it right against it. You need to make sure you give it a little bit of a gap to do this, okay? So that when you fold the um, paper, then it folds nicely. So you're going to leave just a little bit. Now, because I'm doing this on the video, I am really not sure if I'm doing this straight or not, because sometimes I like to bring it right up close to my eye to see if I've done it right. 
The spacing looks pretty even from top to bottom. So I'm gonna leave that there. Then I'm gonna glue the last piece. Now, if you are watching my tutorial so that you can learn how to make this and you're a beginner crafter, I am so glad that you're watching this because this is going to be very helpful for many things. Once you get the hang of the space, you can just add as much things you want to the page. You can even add like side um, pockets and things and like flips up up flip and bottom flip and side flips you know you can do so many things but by just knowing this basic you can just use this to add your embellishments for happy mail and it's just so fun or just to simply stick your memory photos and notes in it now from here you really want to now where is my See, I always need this. So you're going to make sure that it's really down on well. Now, normally you would kind of leave this to dry for a bit, but because I'm doing a tutorial, I'm just going to move on. Now, once you have up to this bit here, you're going to grab the scissors and you're going to cut like, this now you need to make sure that you leave a little bit off the corner you don't want to cut right against it so you're going to just do this see you're gonna leave a little bit there so then the next one okay some people just cut it um directly like this in a triangle i think you can do that too but i'm just really used to doing it this way So you're going to do that to all four sides like this. So then you have this, then you're going to fold, fold in like nicely, press it down. Like this. And you can pause the video to get to where I am if you're doing things a little slower because it's your first time making it. So you just like do this and then you score the other one. You fold. Now some people also do this. You can score it like this and it helps you fold easier too. Okay. Then, oh, let me get this bit out of the way. So you're going to do this. Okay. Now, this is what I like to do. There are so many other mini album experts out there, but this, I like doing it like this for my embellishment book because um, it's a less stressful way. And I really want my crafting to be not so stressful. So once you get to this bit here, if you have really good glue, like let's say barely out glue, I, I know that's a really, really good glue. You can use that. Um, and I'm sure it'll be way better than my glue. I'm just using um, uh, Elmer's glue that I can find here in Australia. I wish I could buy the Bailey Arts glue, but I can't. The shipping is just horrendous. For me to get it and i do not want to pay that much just for a glue you get what i mean because i'm in australia now if you have double-sided tape and you love using that please do so it'll make your project so much faster but i'm a crafter that you know likes to send out surprise mails and i like to share things with friends and stuff so I want to save um, my cost in wherever I can. So if it doesn't need double-sided tape necessarily, then I won't use it. But when I do really need, need it, I will definitely use it. So you can do glue and do this, right? But 
I am doing a video, so I probably should use the double-sided tape for this part. Because when I'm not doing a tutorial, tutorial, you guys can imagine that I will just, you know, let it dry and then come back and do the rest, that kind of thing. But I really want to show you guys how it's done. So I'm going to use the double-sided tape here. And I'm also going to add it to this bottom bit here. I like to add it to the inside, not the flap. I like to add it there. When I do use the double-sided tape, that's what I do. If I'm in a hurry, like if I want to like quickly make something and I really have no patience to wait for the glue to dry, this is where I would put the um, double-sided tape, okay? Then you take it off. I don't have long nails, and so sometimes it's not easy. So then you do this, okay? And then you push it down with your bone folder. I don't even know why you call this bone folder, to be honest. No idea. <laughs> now, this is what came with my. Um, we are memory keepers board, scoreboard thing. I have a large one and I have a small one, but yeah. I bought the um, small one first and I really love using it, but sometimes you do kind of want a larger scoreboard. So I ended up buying one a while ago. Okay, so you do this. Okay. Now I'm gonna have glue all over my hands probably. So I'm doing this video like as if I'm showing my um, close friend who's starting out crafting, okay? So th this video is probably not for the expert crafters, but I am so happy that I can show a beginner crafter or someone who's never made a mini album this process. So we're up to here now. See what it looks like? Really doesn't matter if you got glue, um, you know, coming out of the edges and stuff because you're going to be covering the inside. You get what I mean? Okay, so now we're up to this bit here. You can now do this. See? Because we left that gap, now you are able to easily do this. And this is your album cover done okay now I also now need to show you guys what to do for the inside okay the inside so I have four sheets here one two three four I'm going to show you you maybe you guys can write this down I'm going to show you you need one piece that measures eight and quarter by five inches. Eight and quarter by five inches. And you're going to score it at four inches and four and quarter inch. Then you get this. So you get these lines, right? Four and four and quarter inch. So you get these lines. Then what you're going to do is you're going to fold with that score line. Or you can you can use your um this phone folder thing well this is not i think there's a really expensive one out there but i just use whatever comes with the the um scoreboard okay. so then you've got this so you're gonna have this bit here this bit is where you're going to glue onto the next page like this the next page is going to measure eight and three quarter inch wide by five eight three quarter by five and you're going to score it at four and four and three quarter inch so then you have this so then you have this now i have scored um quarter inch here like within my um little bit there you see my two extra lines? 
I did that just to show you guys for the video sake because this, if you do this guide, it'll help you to know where to put the glue when you're adding this page onto this page. So I am going, so I scored further to, from here to here is quarter inch gap. And from here to here is another quarter inch gap. So then you've got that two line in the middle where you're going to add the glue. I'm gonna show you now. So you're gonna add glue there. See what I'm doing? And then you're going to match this bit onto that middle bit there. So you have even quarter inch gap on each side of the page. That's the aim, okay? So you're going to add this part to this part. And so you have, and you really wanna push it down. And you really wanna push the other side down and it's going to dry. So you have to let this bit dry. You can't rush this part, but I need to show you guys how I did it, you see? So that's extra score lines that I showed you is going to be your glue guide. I hope that makes sense. So you let this bit to dry, okay? Now the third piece measures nine and quarter inch wide by five, and you're going to score it at four and five quarter, okay? So then, now I have scored from this line another quarter inch from it to give me that line. And from this line, I have scored another quarter inch away from it to give me this line. Why? Because this is now the area I need to add the glue. See, this bit is gonna go on to here. Now, because I'm doing a tutorial, you guys, I am be doing the glue part really fast, but you really want, probably want to make sure to add the glue really nicely, like not in a really sloppy way, like you will want to do that. And then add it to following my line guide, you want to add that to the middle, okay? I really, really hope that this helps you guys a lot and that you guys are able to see. Now you got pages forming with the quarter inch gap, okay? Just have to make sure that it's really on there. Now, because I'm using um, pattern paper that's not double-sided, I have cut out pieces of paper to cover the other white side. But if you have a really good double-sided pattern paper that's good quality cardstock, you, can, you don't have to do that other part of covering the white page. And also, you have a choice to not cover the white page if you don't want to. It's entirely up to you. So we have these pages forming. Can you see? Yeah, with the quarter inch gap. So the quarter inch gap helps you to add your embellishments on without making the book extra bulky. So another point I would like to mention, if you want the gap to be not quarter inch and you want it to be even bigger, you can even do half an inch. So you can um, change the measurements accordingly, okay? So that's my, that much, that many pages done, see? Super fast. Then the final page, the fourth page, measures nine and three quarter inch by five inch, and you're going to score it at four and five three quarter inch. So then you have this. Then this is my guideline to show me where to glue. So I added from this, 
fr um, first score line, I added quarter inch gap. And from this line, I add a quarter inch gap to show me where to add the glue. And then I'm going to add glue nicely here, like, so that the edge is really stuck on. I'm using my finger, um, cause I, I wipe it off the tissue and stuff. And I sometimes wipe it off the, um, I have an extra um, tissue, tissue box in my craft room so that I can easily do that. Then you're going to line this line this lot to the score line I can't see uh, where is the line oh yeah there because I'm doing a video I can't put my head in front of it <laughs> okay so I'm gonna rub it lightly like this okay I think you guys get the point, don't you now, how I do this. So now I have this ready for me to add things to. See? So this is going to be glued onto here like this, right? So what we need to now do is to cover this bit, the inside part. And that's what I'm gonna show you next. So now we are going to add paper to the middle part of the spine, inside cover. And I wanna show you where you should add the double-sided tape. Now this is where I do really add the double-sided tape. So you need to add it to there and then there. You need to add it to there and here. And that makes my paper stick really well onto the middle part of the spine. And I don't want to see gaps here. So I am gonna show you what size paper you do need for this. You need a five inch wide by four and three quarter inch tall. And you're going to put double sided tape all around. And then you're going to add glue to the middle. Now, before you do that, you're going to take this bit off. Okay. So you can pause my video and then do all of this double side tape preparation. And then you can add your glue and stick it down. Okay. Okay, so. I'm also going to add glue to here. Oh, hold on. I'm also gonna add glue like that. I'm gonna now take these double-sided tape off. If my hand will help me. <laughs> And then take this off and then make sure you have your five inch wide side this way, like this, okay? And we're going to add some glue here. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over and we're going to stick it here. Now you can see where this is the middle part. So you kind of have to like look at it like this. You kind of place it like this and you see, you see those gaps. You want the gap, you want this paper, this whole entire paper to not cover like this, not cover like this. You want to make sure that these two gaps are in the middle somewhere. As you can see, like, I don't know how to exactly explain it, but it makes it easier for me if I sort of hold the paper like this and sort of like look at where the gap is. So I have even space here and even space here. And I want to be able to make sure that I stick my paper here and here evenly. So here I go. I'm going to just sort of do that. And 
stick it down like this then you are going to really do this really place it down well so now you i think you now know why i put double-sided tape all around the edge because that makes these edge edge bits really stick down nicely and the reason why i put double-sided tape here underneath is so that it when i fold this book see when i'm folding it it's going to really grab onto that bit there okay. but before you do that you really want to make sure that the double-sided tape and the glue is really stuck if the paper is really stuck well and then if you lightly lift it off like this from the left side you can see that crease so then you use your bone folder to do this okay and that is going to help you stick the paper down nicely as well as being able to fold easily see now i'm gonna do this side see you, you can start to see the crease line so now you use your bone folder to do this, following that crease line. I hope you guys can see this well. I don't do a lot of tutorial videos, but I do do them sometimes. Um, I live with uh, many autoimmune conditions, so for me to do a long, long video, it, it can get a bit too tiring for me. But on the days where I feel like I can really handle it, that's when I do tutorial. And I've been meaning to do this tutorial for a couple ladies or several ladies that have asked me if I'm going to be doing tutorial. I'm really happy that I'm able to. So then you have this. So you have the middle bit covered now, you guys. So make sure if you're using um, certain pattern paper, make sure your book is not upside down when you're trying to stick you know your um decorations and things so you just gotta sometimes check see i want my words these words to be upright so i gotta make sure it's like this now for the side pieces here and here you're going to need three and three quarter wide four and three quarter tall the reason why it's four and three quarter is because this album is five inches tall so you want it to be a little less right to be able to not fully cover you don't want your inside pattern lining papers to cover all the way to the top you want that little bit of a gap at the bottom and the top so if your album is five inches tall you make it four and three quarter if your album is six inches tall then you make it five and three quarter you get what i mean so you have two pieces of this and this one you just have to glue it down so my glue, this Elmer's glue that I have is quite a wet kind. So I make sure I don't put it all the way to the edge because when I use the bone folder, it really spreads it. Um, so you put it down like this. Um, another thing I need to mention is closure of the album. If you want to add closure, this is the time to do it. So for example, let's say that this is a trim. If you wanted to add ribbon closure where you have the ribbon here and ribbon here so you um, make a bow then you need to add the 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 trim to the middle bit like this before you glue this bit on i think you get my point right but for this one i'm not going to because i just want you guys to be able to make the base the basic album so you can add your special touches to it you can also do a closure by punching a hole here and adding an eyelet and you can do like a little knot tie here so that you have um, your string or your trim here you can do that to this side as well if that makes it easier for you to do so then you add this other side right add your other side to this bit here and then you have the inside all covered and you have a strong cover 
And now, see, even the inside is so pretty now, right? So now this is where, then by the time you've done this bit, all of this would have been um, glued well, or you've, if you've used a double strong double side of it, double side adhesive, then this will be just ready to be glued here. So the reason why my spine is two and quarter inch wide, you know that that middle spine cardboard bit that I gave you guys, that was two and quarter inch wide. The reason is because I I did this and I wanted quarter inch on each side. So now it's my job to make sure I glue this down really well. So then I have to glue it into the middle, okay? So you've got to see, you've got to see for yourself. Oh, where is the middle? Where's my middle going to be? So you can, if you want to be precise, you can get out your ruler and do this. But as a crafter who does crafting as a therapy, I don't want my crafting session to be so stressful that I have to be so precise. So I just sort of like look at it with my eyes and see where I need to glue. That looks about right to me. So that's where I will be gluing this page here. Now, but be I'm not going to do that now. I think you guys now know how to do it. The reason why I'm not going to glue my um, book pages in yet is because I want to um, glue the other white side first. So I have eight pages already cut out. I have all of these various patterns. So I'm going to be adding them to the inside like this. And then I'm going to be gluing it down and I'm going to like do this to make sure it's really on each page. Then once that's all done, I'm going to add my glue here and then I'm going to take it to the middle of my spine and see where I need to glue it and glue it there. So it completes my mini album. So you, once yours is glued into the middle, it's going to have all that gap to be able to add things. And then once all that is done, you can add your front layering pieces like this, how I, how I want to do it. So mine's going to be like this. See? So, so the layering piece, just make sure that it's slightly smaller than your front cover size, okay? So this is like, let's say that this is four and five, then you want it to be three and three quarter by four and three quarter. You just want a little bit of that gap. Um, some people have even bigger gap for at the top and the bottom, so you can even make it smaller. So the layering piece size is, in, is entirely up to you. I hope this tutorial has really helped you a lot and I wonder what you'll be making with it. I would love to see it. You can email me what you made with it if you don't have a YouTube channel or Instagram page. Um, you can just let me know that you've had fun. Thank you so much. I'm on Instagram as well. Same name, Sole and Craft, if you're new to my channel. Thank you so very much for being here and listening to me. And I hope you give this a go. Bye for now.